Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Red Lantern, where we are currently out on- Uh oh! Oh no! Where we're currently out on a night expedition! Iggy! Alright, 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 what to do, what to do? Keep yelling, shoot at it, let's try shooting it. Alright, come Stay on. Stay away from them! Come on, shoot it! I can't shoot now! Dang it! Iggy! Iggy! Alright, muskox, muskox. Did not like a- <gasps> Oh god! You okay, girl? Iggy! Oh, Iggy will always oh, protect a little us. Hurt, girl. But we can fix that up. Just Jeez. ride in the sled for a bit. The team will be okay. I was gonna say, welcome back to the exploring. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. We've got some more meat. Oh, great. No bullets. Let's go, Chopper. Yeah, I was gonna say welcome back to the exploring that we're doing in the Alaskan wilderness, but talk about a brutal wake-up call and just how dangerous it can be out here. Thankfully, oh, things were going to. I really did. I didn't even know that must. Let's see. We'll find our way. We're alive. We're together. That's what I wanted, right? To feel a lot. Okay, come on. We've got this. Let's rest. We're gonna get Iggy feeling better. This looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, so that kind of went extremely quickly. I wasn't expecting all of that drama. Iggy. Hey, buddy. How you holding up? Hang in there, girl. We're gonna go ahead, let's comfort her for a minute, and then tend her wounds with the med pack. If any of us gets hurt again, we're done. We're gonna be okay. We Look, we already have found the cabin. So what we're saying is that when we are currently out on these runs, we're just exploring. It's not gonna be too big a deal. Unless, you know, something happens to the dogs. We might have to start a whole new run over, like, after that, so that's not good. That's not good at all. I hope the dogs... I mean, I guess this is the wilderness, so they could possibly even die hey, if buddy. we don't take good care of them. Alright, let's tend your wounds with the med pack. There you go, Igloo. Maybe this will teach us to bring more than one med pack, for crying out loud. And then let's go ahead and get some rest. Might be time to get some rest. Well, should we go to sleep? Alright, everyone feeling better? I mean, that was a little overexciting, but, you know, maybe we're gonna learn something more about muskox. Iggy. I can't believe you were willing to risk yourself for the team, bud. Good girl. You're a good leader, Igloo. She is a good girl. I can't wait to see what kind of puppy she and Chomper would have. Just a few more weeks, Iggy. And Chomper seems to adore you. He really does. <laughs> I think you like him, too. That's so cute. Alright, guys, you guys definitely earned some food. Chow down, pups. How much did we get? Wow, we got so much from that musk ox. All right, here. There you go, guys. Chow down. A fire would be nice. Let's go ahead At least and I'm well start a fire and get some food. And I guess we're switching from having caribou for breakfast to having some musk I'm ox. ready to cook some food. All right, there we go. And you know what? We'll feed the dogs one more time. They deserve to have food full time. stomachs. Chow down, pups. All right. Well, can't get full stomach. I guess you guys have been working really hard. Barkley, how are you doing? Ready for pets, Barkley? <laughs> We've barely learned anything about his story. I wonder if we're going to run into something that might help us learn more about him. Are the rest of you guys okay? Finn? Hey, Finn. So, I know you took my beanie. Are you ready for a pet? <laughs> It's been so exciting to see Finn get closer to us, because we didn't yell at her about the skunk thing. Okay. Okay. Not yet. I get it. Mm. I bet Finn did not have a good time with her previous owners, since she was always getting into skunk territory. But you are warming up to me. We'll just take our time. See, that's what I love about being able to go on more runs with the same team. The more we do, the more we actually can unlock the dog's story. So I hope you guys are really excited and hopeful for events that might happen while we're out here exploring the wilderness that'll let us learn more about each of the dogs. And that's our goal and now. maybe I'll give you my beanie again when I go to sleep. <laughs> that's so cute. Bodega, are you doing good? I'm happy to try to find all the food you need. He does have a big appetite. I wonder if we go through the dog food a little faster because of him. That might be something to experiment with with a whole nother group. And hey, Chomper. Good boy. I shouldn't boy. have brought you out here, buddy. I didn't think it was going to be this wild. I thought it'd be more like extreme camping. We're great at camping. We just have to keep going. No matter if mistakes are made. 
Hey, look, mistakes are just part of life and learning. Sure, this could result in our death or the death of our dogs, but usually you don't make mistakes that extreme. Get back on the trail. All right, let's go. Then I'm gonna need my beanie back now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Let's be safe out there. That's so cute. Oh, now what? All right, where should we go? You know what? Gee. Gee. G. I always want to say gee. Oh well, the dogs know what I mean. Let's see what we can find now. I really want to see if we can discover more about the different animals. Like there's something out there. Oh, whoa. I guess we could check it out. Oh, look at Are him. You okay? You don't look okay. Uh, I don't think we should approach him, but this is one of the elk who are currently shedding the skin, the velvet around his antlers. That's why he looks like this. It's totally a normal process, but it can be really bloody and awkward looking. Shouldn't be approaching it. But these adventures are so we can try oh, things we me. normally wouldn't do. This is a bad idea. This isn't a zombie thing, right? I don't want to be undead. I'm gonna go now. Yeah, no. That's totally for normal. Down the sled, pups. All right, let's mush up. Did we learn anything from that? Okay. Nope. But yeah, that is just the antlers shedding their velvet. Deer do it, elk do it. I don't know if other species do it as well, but it is totally normal, so don't panic. I'm surprised that she doesn't know about that, but hopefully the cabin will have plenty of books on the wildlife of Alaska so that she can start educating herself about it. Beavers! Oh god, that could have smashed the river wide open! I bet there's a good spot to fish over there. Too bad we did not grab our fishing pole. Either way, might be a good spot for a meal. Uh, check out the fishing we pole. Might not be able to catch anything, but we can still check it out. I'll be right back, pups. How fine! I hope we don't fall into the probably ice. Probably still fish under here, right? I want to look for the beaver. And to be honest, normally a beaver wouldn't be putting down trees in the middle of winter. They actually gather a whole bunch of different tree saplings. They gather a ton of twigs covered with all of that delicious inner bark that they eat. And they make underwater gardens out of them. They're called like larders. They make a larder by carrying those branches, twigs, trees, leaves, and burying the ends of the sticks and the ends of the trunks into the mud. And that makes a larder underwater. So that way, they still have leaves that are, if not fresh, at least edible and not frozen solid, like all of the trees currently would be, to eat all through winter under the ice. So they'll swim out from under the underwater entrance of their dam to their larder, grab some fresh sapling, well, you know, it might not be fresh anymore, but at least it's not frozen, from their larder, and then swim back into their dam with it to have breakfast or dinner. And that's just amazing. And I wonder where on earth we can find a fishing rod. Mm, maybe that beaver is still around. I want to look at the beaver. Now, where'd you go? Uh... Ugh, oh, you almost hit me! Oh, there you are. I don't think I want to kill a beaver with my bare hands. I can't believe we almost had death by beaver! Look, that wasn't on my list, so maybe that just proves that even I can't be as prepared as I thought I would be if we were in the Alaskan wilderness. Like, what? I shouldn't have wasted my time out here. I need to find some bullets. I hear you, Chomper. I'm coming. Narrowly escaped a beaver attack. <laughs> Alright, well, at least we learned that. And, you know, I wouldn't want to actually hunt this little guy. He's pretty cute. All right, let's continue on with our run. Somehow. Huh. Okay, so that was a little weird. The beaver apparently freaked me out, and uh, we may have lost our knowledge about the beaver, because we had to back up a little bit. But maybe we just slipped on the ice a little bit. G! Noted. Beavers, they can cause issues. I would love to learn more about them, though. We've seen a beaver somewhere in the mountains Something's before. There. Oh, there's something here. What do we have here? Oh, Finn, did you find something? Or is that Chomper? A bullet will do just fine. Wow, look, there's an old journal there. I wonder what's written in it. I'm back. I would have definitely taken the book. I think we're done here. 
I mean, look, even if the book sucked, you could use it as fire starter. Not that you should burn books, but you also, you know, you wouldn't want to die out in the middle of nowhere either. Alright, let's carry on, guys. What else can we find out here? I really want to find more of the animals. What Especially that darn beaver. Oh, let's follow it. What do you guys smell? Hey. <gasps> so, uh, looks like we've got someone else's meal. Alright. Uh, yeah. Uh, we shouldn't let it go to waste. Looks pretty safe. Those look like bloody footprints. Somebody was here. Um... Not oh. safe! Oh. <sighs> not safe, not safe at all! Thankfully it's just one wolf. I oh I did bring my I rifle for a second. Back 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 back. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's okay. Mm. At least we can patch ourselves up, and we got plenty of food for all of us. It just cost me a chunk of my arm. But you have to make sacrifices sometimes, right? Sometimes things are just really hard, and you have to fight through the pain to know it was worth it. I know I'm stronger now than I've ever been. I survived a wolf attack. It's more than most can say. And we only got three food from that? I shouldn't have risked it. We've got some more meat. We've got one bullet left. At least we've already got... Let's get back out there. Whew. This, this round is a little bit tricky. Today's adventures have definitely caused a scar. And again, if we end up creating the smusher in The Sims 4 for snowy escapes, I feel like we should add a couple of scars from everything we she's do. learned. You know what? Let's go. Huh. Wow. Okay, attacked by wolves. I mean, and a beaver. A beaver and a wolf attack. That sounds kind of extreme, but at Someone least Someone is watching us. Someone's watching us. <gasps> deer. We haven't seen okay. deer yet. You might not staring at me like that. You can attack me. No, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to raise my rifle. We've got enough food for the minute. And, I mean, it's just a bunch of beautiful deer. I'm just going to leave you all to whatever this is. It's called getting lunch, you goose. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. All right, let's mush. I wonder if we can find, I mean, there's items you can actually find to give the dogs, too. Hundreds and hundreds of different scenarios that we could run across here. And I wonder if we could possibly find more med packs. Or maybe at least learn that we should bring more than one med pack. Maybe that only happens if both ourselves and the dogs are injured. We'll have to see. Looks like we found some birch trees. Mm, on on by. by. We already have our fire starter. And we still have plenty of birch. I want to do more adventuring before we have to head back home to the cabin. Getting closer. Um, let's go ahead. Ha! Ah! Let's rest. Uh, no, we don't need to rest. We're doing pretty good, actually. It's not like I have a med pack after, you know, giving it to Iggy. Oh, this is so exciting. What do you guys smell? I don't see anything. What do they smell? I see what you're after. <gasps> Whoa! I can't believe someone just left this animal like this. Oh, that's so sad. It must have suffered. I mean, there's a trap here. They lost a good trap. It must have suffered, and they didn't even get the meat. Traps can be a cruel necessity out here, but you can't just leave the creature forever. If we use a trap, we'll check it often. If something's caught, we have to finish it quickly. I don't love the idea of using one, but we do need a steady way to get food. We can set it up before we go to sleep. In the morning, we'll see if we've caught anything. We might be able to save some bullets and still feed all of us. Oh. Oh, whoa. I mean, if it's us against death, yeah, but in real life, never. Even if I take it, doesn't mean I have to use it. But I should try to plan for the worst, right? Just in case. Whoa, so we can set the trap when we sleep at camp? That's not my favorite idea. But if it's between us and death or the dogs dying, I mean, I can kind of understand. The pups do okay? Man, it makes sense that we have to make there. some really tricky choices and some ethical dilemmas out here, but... Well, it's okay. Even if we never use the trap, we took it from the wild. Exactly. And if we decide to use it, and we might need to, 
We just have to be mindful about it. Yeah. We'll set it before we go to bed and check it first thing when we wake up. And we'll thank each creature for the help they're giving us. This is for food and for life. And out here with not as many plants to eat, it's gonna be an animal-based way to live. Looks like we're getting there. All right, let's go ahead and ha! Huh. Huh. This exploring is going pretty good, guys. I think it's probably time for us to get ready to rest once the dogs or I get a little more tired. But if you guys could, do please leave a like for our adventures. You see that? Oh, what's this? Oh, please be full. Please be full. Yes. Two bullets. You know what? <laughs> do please leave a like for our adventures, and we Thanks will carry on with box. exploring the Alaskan wilderness. Three bullets left. And all right, of its unexpected journey. Let's go. Next time. If you guys want to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and be kind to the wildlife. Bye, guys.